so we're just leaving camp and we've come across this. I can't really get a shot of it, but Tom is filming it. It is this shot and that was found 50 yards from our camp. That was not here yesterday. That is fairly fresh. I'm pretty certain that means there's probably a leopard around here somewhere. But I can't see anything up any trees. Should we go forward a little bit, Wilfred, and maybe turn to the right? Where are you, leopard? So just put it in perspective, the kill is here. And our tents are there. There's a leopard in town, but no one knows where he's gone. Yes, there he is. He's right next to it. Just his perfect Wilfred. Old Hawkeye Tom has spotted the leopard. I mean, these cats are incredibly elusive. You know, they are the masters of hiding and seeing but not being seen. And it's why you don't go wandering around camp after, after dark, because that is so close to where we sleep. And a leopard would never break into a tent, but it might have a go when you're having a pee. How beautiful. I did not think we were going to see one of these. I mean, I certainly didn't think we'd see one this close to camp. Well done, my man. Wilfred heard the monkey's alarm calling. And off he goes. Tom's filming it. He's also just told us a story that when he was five years old, he drew a picture of a leopard and he gave it to a girl. try and find out whether the leopard has pulled the impala away. At the moment we think it's unlikely to come to the kill, so Ben is preparing the cannon and we're going to drive away and hopefully we'll be able to capture the leopard. Really? Good job, excellent. So we've found our, our leopard. He's the most chilled out leopard I think any of us have ever seen. He's sat up in a tree with one leg hanging down, his tail hanging the other side with a belly full of impala. And he is chilled. Pretty extraordinary end to our evening. Wow, look at his eye shine. <laughs> so yeah, pretty awesome end. A good day. Well, I say the end. Um, Tom's got to do some more work, but it's pretty much the end. Day three done. So we've just got back to our camp and we are watching the footage. I thought today's vlog was over, but what's a little scarier about what we've seen on the camera we put on the bridge is not only did we have one leopard there tonight we had two. So the one leopard we saw in the tree was only one of them and who knows where the other two were when I ran back to camp to get the torch and when the guys got out of the truck to get the camera. If you look really closely you'll see one little leopard at the back and one rather massive leopard at the front. It's pretty scary but amazing footage. Okay, now day three is finished. Bye. A pretty awesome experience, as I'm sure you'll agree. You know, we were incredibly lucky to see one leopard, let alone seeing two. Over the coming five weeks, we'll be featuring more films from our Kenya expedition. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see them, why don't you just click subscribe? If you want to see more stuff about big cats, you know, why don't you have a look at our big cat playlist just by clicking here. And let us know what you thought of the films. I love seeing your comments and just leave them in the section below. I'll try and respond to as many as I possibly can. Thanks so much, guys, and we'll see you soon.